This video series explores how persons with developmental disabilities can make better use of transit services. Some scenes repeat in each video. Worksheets are available in the video description to support learning. Content was developed by a team with experience in the developmental disability community. This series was made possible by a grant from the Alabama Council on Developmental Disabilities to the Alabama Cooperative Extension System's Jefferson County team. The Alabama Cooperative Extension System is an equal opportunity educator and employer. Everyone is welcome. Please let us know if you have accessibility needs. In this video series, you will learn how individuals with developmental disabilities can overcome barriers to transportation services and increase their access to safe transit choices. Equal access and inclusion are the founding principles of the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990s, which prohibits discrimination based on disabilities by transportation providers. You will increase your understanding of how to protect yourself against seasonal allergies, the common cold, and respiratory conditions while using transit services. The Alabama Council on Developmental Disabilities has provided grant funding for this project. Good day, folks. I'm Justin. Welcome, everyone. I'm Jasmine. Hey, everybody. I'm Grace. Today we will show you our new transit video called, What Will You Choose? Our theme is health and safety while using transit services. There will be five scenes in which you will learn about today's details. At the end of each video, you can send us your evaluation through email. Our goal is to help you become a smiling super rider and not a sad, clueless rider. Let's get rolling with what will you choose? My nephew needs transit to and from his doctor and therapist. Who can help? Call the bus company to ask about rides for the disabled. My brother needs transit three days a week for his job. He is autistic. Who can we call? Call the bus company to ask about rides for the disabled. Who do you call to ask about rides for the disabled? Call a friend. Call your job. Call the bus company. You must apply for parent transit. You may need someone to help you fill out the form. Please carefully read and follow the instructions on how to return the form. Approved riders must know how to reserve a seat and how to board the bus. Riders must not eat or drink while on the vehicle. When on the bus, you must respect the other riders. When I reserve a seat, I must tell the bus company if someone is riding with me. And when I call to reserve a seat, I tell them if I need to use a cane, wheelchair, or walker. When should you tell the bus company that someone will be riding with you? When the bus picks you up. When you call to reserve a seat. I help my autistic brother get ready before transit arrives. I show him pictures of what needs to be done and at what time. Positive behavior support uses pictures of tasks and times to help the autistic person make choices. Today I cannot be ready when transit arrives. What can I do? Know how to cancel a ride if you're running late or your plans change. What can I do to help my niece get ready to go to a support program that shows her how to relax and stay calm using garden therapy? Help your niece to plan what to wear, when to get up, and what to eat. Repeat often and show pictures so she can learn how to make wise choices. Oh my gosh! I forgot transit is coming! What should I do? Call right away to cancel the trip. What is not the best way to prepare a person to get ready for a power transit ride? Remind them and help them to get ready ahead of time. Yell and hit the person. Make pictures with tasks and times with choices. 
Be patient when using a shared ride service. Everybody wants to get to where they're going as soon as possible. The bus driver is trying to keep all riders safe. So be kind to the bus driver. Do not be loud and rude to the other riders. Do not get upset if another rider gets dropped off before you. Be polite to all. What is the best way to travel with a shared ride service? Be rude, loud, and mean. Be polite and kind to all. Paratransit is not a free service. Riders must pay set fare per trip. Rates are set by your provider. This is a shared ride service. Riders must not disrupt the schedule. And riders cannot disturb other riders. What type of service is paratransit? A personal service. A free service. Pay a fare to share a ride service. I hope that you have made wise choices that makes you a happy super rider. If your choices made you a sad, clueless rider, just start over. Do more practice. Thank you for joining us for this episode of our transit video. Please complete the evaluation. See you next time for What Will You Choose? Was this video helpful? Yes, I want to see more. Not sure? How can we make it better? Yeah. Email us your comments and suggestions.